guys, this is Duke Doom and welcome to Darkest Star ASMR. This is a show and tell and a little bit of an update, update what I've been doing. And I'm sorry if my eyes are really really small because I've been up for 48 hours soon, just had a couple of hours to sleep. I was on a market today selling paintings, so I was up all night painting. <laughs> and as soon as this video is uploaded, I'm going to go straight to bed because, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to address my painting a little bit. Uh, on one hand, it's been so hot, so it's been hard to do role plays, as I have tell, told you. But on the other hand, I have I spend a lot of time painting, and I actually manage to sell paintings, which is something of a dream that has come true for me. Uh, so uh, yeah, so today I sold paintings. I sold four, four maybe. Uh, anyway, I'm. I think I'm, it might be interesting if I showed you some of my work. Now I'm no Bob Ross or Picasso, but, but you know, I try. So, first of all, we have one here that isn't finished. And that's a ferry. One of the ferries that takes, that takes people out to the island. I was hoping to get, get this finished for the market, but alas, I didn't have time. Now the next one is uh, one of the funnier side of my paintings, which is a beach snail. You can see other snails here floating around in the ocean. So I do kind of like more non-serious ones too. Now this one is a friend of mine who is not with us anymore. His name was Jeppe. He was a sailor and uh, he was on some kind of a surrogate grandfather for me. I could sit and listen for hours uh, uh, him telling stories about when he was at the sea and he actually had an accident in the Pacific Ocean where his boat sank and he floated on a rubber boot <laughs> and he also smashed his hip against some rocks and stuff but it was an interesting story and he always smoked Tiedemann yellow cigarette tobacco <laughs> and he was fond of drinking. He actually started a liquor factory out here before he died and that's still in working, it's still going strong. <laughs> okay, the next one is uh, also a ferry which takes people to the island and from the island and this is at night. You have the moon shining and the boat is filled with lights. It's a little hard to show when I can't see the screen, but anyway. I think it's pretty peaceful in some way. Here's another one. This one is on canvas. Uh, and it's a sailboat behind a blood red moon. I hope you can see it. Most of my pictures have some kind of reality thing, like the fairies and portraits, but this one I just painted because I kind of felt like it. This one is a landmark on the island 
there were these wooden pyramids on the highest point of every island in the archipelago. Uh, this is a long time ago. And when there were enemies sighted, they put these on fire. They were called Vårdkase. So the neighboring islands could see it burn and then they uh, put theirs on fire and so on and so on until it reached Stockholm where the navy was located. And uh, when I was younger we, we used to climb up that mountain and sit in front of this, <laughs> drinking a lot of booze. <laughs> I actually have a painting that I made a couple of years ago depicting that. <laughs> so you have the pyramid over here. Someone is like drinking a beer. I think that one has fallen asleep. <laughs> uh, someone are making out here. And there are the vehicles that we had. Uh, transport moped and someone just sitting sharing and uh, having a good time I guess so I made this a long time ago uh, I can't even find a date on it but I think it must have been like 20 years ago or something like that when I did this one so uh, and finally I have one that I made because I had a lot of access, uh, excess paint on my, uh, what's it called, the palette where you put the paint. So I just started to paint on a piece of paper and I made some kind of forest with a hunter who holds a rabbit in his hand and the sky is a little bit, a little bit uh, dark. Gloomy, one might say. So, uh, these were the paintings that I have at home at the moment. Oh, I have many more, it's like the one over there, which isn't finished yet. It's going to be some kind of a ghost looking out of a window. So, I have this one. And the boat with the moon. I think this one came out pretty moody. I like the glitter in the water from the clouds. And since this is an ASMR video, I'm, I think these make kind of like nice tapping sounds. to connect uh, the <laughs> Yeti <laughs> too tired to you know mix sound together so this is the original sound from the microphone that you're hearing right now was like 80 years when he passed a couple of years ago and he was a real good friend and you know people aren't like this anymore like he was he was uh, definitely not easily offended <laughs> he offended a lot of people he was uh, I worked with him we parted together we even fought a couple of times I remember but he, he was a really, really close friend and, and there aren't a day when I, I don't miss him when I, you know, drive past his house and, well, that's life, I guess. So I'm going to do more snails, kind of like ten, I think I will do a series of snails. <laughs> and uh, not today, definitely not today because I'm so tired, but tomorrow I will finish this one. Uh, and I will put it up on uh, my social media if you're interested. I have a, I have a page on Facebook called uh, Roffes Konst. 
the art of Rolf M. Rolf, uh, that's me, by the way. Uh, and what do I use when I paint? Well, oh my god, it's so hot, I'm sweating like, oh. <laughs> uh, I use acry acrylic paint, and if I need details when I do like faces, I use actually a pen. Uh, what's it called? Marker, marker, <laughs> thin markers. And then I use uh, uh, watercolors. So I mix. I know a lot of people who uh, just started to paint and they are like confused should I use that kind of paint or just oil or I think uh, I'm no expert but, but I think it's pretty fun to you know mix it up to use like acrylic paint on a water paint watercolor painting or uh, vice versa and and you know like there are so many like this is uh, paper uh, but it's not like it doesn't rip easily or that it will get like crinkly <laughs> if you like put it so I, I recommend using these papers because they aren't that expensive and uh, painting on with a frame like this these are pretty expensive to buy but if you like have some kind of uh, you know, you can put a nail in the right place and sew off a plank. You can actually make these yourself. I haven't made this one particularly, but I have made frames for the canvas myself <coughs> earlier. So it's pretty easy to do. You take like four pieces of wood and you sew, sew them off in the right dimension that you want, the length, and then you just uh, can actually use a, what's it called? A staple yarn to staple it together, and the frame will keep together from the canvas being wrapped around it. So, and then we have uh, these, which are called pannor in Swedish, which is actually like the backside of a cupboard. <laughs> But they sell them like this, sell them white, and uh, so you can use them to paint on. Now, personally, I do not like to paint on these kind of. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, they often come with this shiny surface, which makes the color uh, won't stick as good. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just my the ones I have bought, but. Uh, that's the that's the uh, <laughs> I'm so tired I'm sorry oh I here I have another one also on a Duke Pano which is a sunrise or sunset or something like that uh, this one was made in 1990 so it has a couple of years. It's actually 20 years old. Gives you a clue on how old I am. <laughs> well, uh, that was all for this video. I'm so tired. I'm sorry uh, if I'm uh, boring you. <laughs> but I, I actually don't have the energy to do something sophisticated today. So. Anyway, uh, it's been a swell summer, although a bit hot for me. It's been like heat wave after heat wave, and uh, we're still summer. I mean, I mean, it's still late summer and it's still hot, uh, like hell. Anyway, uh, I want you to take care of each other and yourself wherever you are on this round world because it ain't flat. Uh, and uh, remember, there can't be any light.